What's good, Juggalos? Cali Green, too fresh here. Carnival Spirits, Ninjas in Action. And this right here is part three of Cali Green's top albums of the last decade. So in part one, we went over the years 2010, 2011. Part two, we did 2012, 2013. Today, in part three, we will be going over the years 2014 and 2015. And damn, these years were stupid fucking fresh. Really a high point of the last decade. So let's get into it, motherfuckers. So for starters, we got to talk about Blaze, Gang Rags Reborn. So this was the very first release on Magic Ninja Entertainment, which that in itself is fresh. But what it is is basically it is a revised version of Blaze, Gang Rags, Extended, and Uncut. And that right there is my fucking shit. I fucking love Extended, Uncut. It was fresh to see them go back and fucking rework the tracks, you know, update the beats and everything. And then they threw an extra four tracks on here from those recording sessions. So stupid fresh. The bonus tracks... We'll talk about those. Bout That Life, Fuck Shit Up, Who Is It, Dead Like Me, Who Is It is fucking banger, for real, you guys. But, um, yeah, this shit right here, dope as fuck. Next up, we have a fucking another amazing album. Let's talk about AMB's the Garcia Brothers. So, this right here was AMB's return to Psychopathic Records, and goddamn, did they ever come correct on this fucking shit. You know, Young Wicked had just recently become sober, and his chopper game was really fucking on point. You could definitely tell that he was in a good state of mind during these recording sessions, and God damn, I remember when I first heard Us Against the World, like, literally tearing the fuck up because it just meant so much to me to have them back on Psychopathic Records doing what the fuck they do, and god damn, it's crazy how shit turns out, right? Fucking Might Go Bad with ICP, um, Bleed with ABK, Listen with Big Hoodoo, Fucking all great fucking features. Um, Roaches, Smoke Kush, MOE, Murder Over Everything. God damn. God fucking damn. So moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about Head PE Evolution. So this right here was Head PE's first album off of fucking suburban noise records and it's fucking dope i remember i actually got to interview jackson from head pe he was the guitarist at the time had been their guitarist for many years um i interviewed him during this era right here and he was cool ass motherfucker he's not in the group anymore but you know it is what it is they're still moving on still doing their thing still putting out good music but this was kind of a return to their heavier side. You know, it was very fucking guitar driven. And at the same time, they did a lot of reggae shit on here that really fucking meshed well with the album. Fucking overall dope ass shit. No turning back. Lost in Babylon. Uh, Jump the fence. Like, seriously, uh, nowhere to go. Let it burn. Hold on. Beginning to end, I fucking bump the fuck out of this shit right here. So, 2014 marked the return of motherfucking Dark Lotus. Now, I remember us juggalos, the majority of us, being so fucking hype for this shit, you know? Twisted and Blaze were no longer on the label, and a lot of people didn't think 
something like this could happen, but it fucking did, and it was stupid fresh. This also, you know, featured the track Villainous with ABK, and it was the first time we'd heard ABK on a Dark Lotus track in fucking years, and it was fresh to hear the whole group back to fucking together again. Um, you know, really, I can't say enough good things about this. Garden of Evil, uh, My Head is Haunted, fucking Death in a Jar, Debbie in the Dark, Morbid. I remember when they first dropped My Kind of Party as the single, and I was like, damn, I'm fucking ready for this shit. And goddamn, how times fucking change, you guys. How the fuck times fucking change. So, ICP wasn't part of just one super group in 2014. They also formed a second super group alongside the Mafia Six. They brought us the Killjoy Club Reindeer Games. And God fucking damn, did they ever deliver on this shit. Don't fuck with me, surprise, jump, panic mode, fucking fools. Um, Devil Made Me Do It with Big Hoodoo, Rambo with Boondocks, Double Clutch, Braver Than Me, god damn, so many fresh ass fucking tracks and memories I have bumping this shit right here, um, Young Wicked on the fucking harmonies, killing it, fucking, literally, he fucking killed every one of his fucking verse, really outshined this fucking album, um, ICP, fucking DJ Paul, delivered like no fucking other. Fucking Crunchy and Coop, RIP Coop. God fucking damn. God damn. It'd be fresh to see fucking Paul and ICP like form another incarnation of Killjoy Club because, you know, Young Wicked out of the fucking picture. Coop, rest in peace. Um, fucking The Mafia Six, no more. But 3-6 Mafia just got back together. They don't have any talks about music, but wouldn't it be fresh to hear fucking, you know, Juicy J thrown in the fucking mix? That'd be fucking dope. I don't see it happening. I know that Paul has stated that they are going to do more Killjoy Club in the future. I don't see Juicy jumping on board with that, but let's wait and see what the fuck happens, you guys. So that's 2014, right motherfucking there. Fresh ass fucking year. So now let's go ahead and move on to 2015. So we have to start by talking about the marvelous missing link. Now I'm not just going to talk about lost. I'm also going to talk about found because they are two albums to make up one story. Therefore, to me, they kind of go together as one entry. Now, I definitely found myself bumping Lost a lot more than Found. I noticed that other Juggalos, a lot of other Juggalos were the opposite. They liked Found a lot more than Lost, but it's just my personal taste. I bumped the shit out of Lost. I also bumped the shit out of Found. I just found myself bumping Lost a lot more and you know apocalypse shock vomit falling apart goddamn explosions flamethrower i see the devil i'll keep my hatchet holy fuck yeah that shit's so dope um god fucking damn another great joker's card in the fucking mix so found definitely the high point on this for me is Lost at the Carnival. That track right there is just so fucking juggalo. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. But um, yeah, Lost at the Carnival, Get Clowned, The Midway, I Fucked a Cop, I'm Sweet. Oh, God. That's my fucking shit right there. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking so fresh. Young Wicked, The Slaughter. Our first time hearing Young Wicked on a full-length solo album. Now, 
he did put out Young Wicked, the mixtape, but it was a mixtape. He was on other people's beats. This is Young Wicked. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, on all of his own production, there may be a song or two that he didn't produce. I'm pretty sure he produced the whole fucking thing, though. Hold on. Let's see if we can figure that out real quick. Um, yeah, all songs written, produced, engineered, and mixed by Young Wicked. That's dope. You got the fucking advertisement for Muerte in there, which ended up coming out on Magic Ninja. It is what it is. But Young Wicked was really fucking shining fucking 2014, 2015. Like, really fucking above and beyond. Um, real quick, the fucking intro, fucking title track, Slaughter, uh, Kill Em All, God, Drinking On My Fifth, Dope With Jelly Roll, Stupid Fresh, um, All Night Long with ABK and Bones Dub, yeah, YWG, God damn, God damn it, fucking Otis, God damn you. Stupid fresh fucking album right here. All right. Now, 2015 for me was really a fucking mafia year. Why do I say it was a fucking mafia year? Well, let's get into that. Because we had the Mafia 6 with their album, Watch What You Wish. And as you can see, my fucking cover is actually taped together. And that's because... This album right here fucking literally just rotated between three different cars because I got my first car. This was the first thing I bumped when I got a car. This was the very first album in my dream car, um, 97 Toyota Celica. <laughs> um, and yeah, it stayed in that fucking whip until I got in a car accident and then it left the whip fucking traveled to the new car, um, got the old car back, traveled back into that car, got another fucking accident in that car, it was totaled, fucking went to the new car, <laughs> like seriously, like, this thing just stayed in the fucking whip non-stop, because it's that fresh, like, this right here really is 2015 for me, alongside, of course, the missing link, um, but yeah, front to back, you guys, front to fucking back. Dad ain't in ya with Le Chat and Fiend. God damn. Uh, Walk with me with Lord Infamous and Loco Done It. Um, Forever get high with Fiend. No good deed with Le Chat. Back on to hype um, with Lord Infamous. Uh, high like an eagle. Lord Infamous, Le Chat and Fiend. Um, Mosh Pit with Lil White and fucking ICP. God, God, so fucking fresh. Fucking rest in peace to Lord Infamous. Rest in peace once again to Coop. But in addition to that, we had more fucking mafia shit come out. We also had DJ Paul's Master of Evil on Psychopathic Records. And I noticed on Drink Champs recently, he did an interview. He stated that this is probably his most popular fucking solo release. And with good reason. It's dark as fuck. He really, um, you know, fucking fit right in the puzzle pieces of Psychopathic Records at the time. Um, down bad, I'm just saying. Bust that cap. Um, that's it for you with Juicy J. All kind of drugs, die anyway. I don't know with Lord Infamous. Uh, fuck you too with Violent J and Yellow Wolf. Ah, such a fucking slapper. Loud Loud with Lil White. God damn. Fucking Paul really put it down in fucking uh, 2014 and 15. Now we have one more album we're gonna talk about right motherfucking here. And this shit is actually also fucking mafia related we're gonna talk about c to six faces of gospel now this wasn't c to six first release 
so to say. They had a couple mixtapes out at the time, but this was their first album. Really, they're all fucking albums because it's all original production. Um, but for some reason, they released this as the official album and fucking banger, you guys. Straight fucking banger. So, C to Six is Loco Done It and Lil Infamous. Both of them are DJ Paul's nephews. Lil Infamous is Lord Infamous's son. And, you know, it was really cool to see these two come together, form this group. They've made a big impact on me personally. You know, they're keeping that mafia shit alive. And, goddamn. So, yeah, television, dope money, uh, setup hoes, uh, street life, IOU. God, smoke and mirrors. This shit is so fucking fresh. Uh, refill with Trig Bambino. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't checked out Seed of Six, I definitely suggest you do so because they're fresh. They're fresh as fuck. But that's it. The years 2014, 2015, Callie Green's top albums of the last decade. Tune in next time, motherfuckers, to Cali Green's Top Albums of the Last Decade, Part 4, where we'll be going over the years 2016 and 2017. Hold up, you guys, real quick. This is some super fucking post-production shit right here because I just realized I missed a CD that is very fucking important to talk about. Fucking ICP, Phantom, Extra Spooky Edition. How the fuck did I forget this shit? Seriously, like, this is one of the wickedest fucking albums, EPs that ICP had put out in fucking forever at the point of its, like, fucking coming out. Like, straight up, Phantom, No More Jail, uh, Ben April, Complicated World, Detroit Carjacking, Super Duper, Murder Go Wrong, Williamsburg Psych Ward, I fucking love that shit. And then just for, like, shits and giggles, they threw on the fucking Get Clowned remix. But seriously, you guys, like, this shit was so fresh. And then, like, all the weird-ass, like, fucking commercial interludes throughout the entire fucking album. Like, if you're listening to it on Spotify, it doesn't have all that shit. And um, I thought that was dope because I wanted to hear the tracks without that shit and I was going to actually go and do that myself and then it popped up on Spotify and it didn't have that extra shit and I was able to just listen to the track list and holy fuck. But um, yeah, this shit was definitely fucking fresh as fuck. I can't believe I forgot to add this. So a little post-production for 2015, motherfuckers. Till next we meet. I'm Cali Green, too fresh. Carnival spirits. Always keep it wicked fresh, motherfuckers. Deuce, deuce. Whoop, whoop.